Hi guys, we're back. We are really excited for the next segment, the next adventure of coming home to autism. As you can see, we are in a new house. We have moved. Um, a lot has happened since the last time I spoke to you guys, so I'm gonna quickly try and bring you up to speed on where we are at. Because um, I know the last video that I posted, I had spoken about how Andrew and I had decided to separate as a couple, and it wasn't an easy decision to make, and it was one that was very personal to myself and Andrew, and we spent a lot of time and hours and weeks and months deciding what was the best thing to do, and what was right for us as people, and what was right for the children, and that was the arrangement that we came to. So then it was about moving forward, and how do we move forward? How does this look? You know, a lot of people said, oh, you guys are still such good friends, and you guys are spending Christmases together, and we've been on holidays together, and yes we are we're really good friends we're best friends and we are always gonna be family and it's always a work in progress as well you know it hasn't all been plain sailing there's been times where we have wanted to rip each other's throats out and we have had to learn to communicate and also heal from our own pains as well and sort of like I said, figure out a new way forward. We began the journey of when we decided to separate that the best thing to do for the children while we were still figuring all this out was to stay in the same house. And we did something, I think I mentioned before in the last video called bird nesting. So I would stay in the house during the week and every second weekend when Andrew would come and see the kids, he would come and stay in the house and I would leave. And this was really good to get the children used to mommy not being there sometimes while in an environment that they knew also for Andrew not to be there as much, which worked out really well actually. And it, it was hard personally for myself and Andrew to sort of go through those moments, I guess, um, of, of being hurt while trying to co-parent, while keeping everything okay for the kids. And when we did tell the children, we just sat down and said, look, you know, mommy and daddy um, want to see other people and that any person that we see in our life is only adding to our family, not taking away. So no one's taking mommy away. No one's taking daddy away. They're only adding to our family. And then we kind of spoke about moving house and how did that look? And we did ask them questions, you know, myself and the kids, when we were looking for a house, I was like, right, what does everybody want? And Dylan was like, I want a forest and I want a swimming pool. He's not getting a swimming pool, by the way. I'm, I'm putting a bathtub outside and that's about as far as I'm going with a swimming pool idea. But anyway, he wanted a swimming pool. Uh, oh, they all wanted to be on the same floor as me because in the last house, Dylan and Luke were on the top floor and myself and Naya were on the middle floor. So they all wanted to be on the same floor and they wanted something a bit smaller where we could all be together and it didn't feel as scary. So I went on a hunt, we went on many different house explorations. The first house I looked at, I did bring the children and that fell through and that was a bit of a disaster. I shouldn't have brought them in on that at all. Um, and then we found the house we're in currently and I didn't show the children. And I just had to say, you need to trust mommy that I'm gonna make the best house for us. So they only saw it when we moved in. Even though I didn't show them inside the house, as soon as I knew I had the house, I drove past it a few times and I got them used to kind of the area because we've moved away from the area that we were in. It was two weeks before Christmas. We had to move in, I painted everything, I changed bathrooms around, I, yeah, it was crazy, but I did it. Andrew had the kids and I literally was unpacking, I had some family, had some friends over. We had to like unpack everything as quick as you could. I worked till 2 a.m. The next day I was up early and I sent Dylan a, a quick sneak peek of what his bedroom was gonna look like. And he said to me, um, that looks great, mum, but the walls need improvement. Meaning he didn't like the color of the walls because they were still white, he wanted his color on the walls, um, which I had in the last house. So I was like, don't worry, it's only gonna be there for a week and then we're gonna paint it. But it was just a bit of a reality check of how hard I'd work and they, he was like, yeah, good job, mom, but uh, yeah, the walls need improvement. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan. Yes, so we are in the new house and I'm gonna do a tour very soon. We're still kind of uh, tweaking here and there. The garden wasn't done at all. So we are currently in the middle of redesigning the whole garden. I'm gonna do a sensory garden and we have a little forest at the back, which we've just cleared, which is really exciting. So really looking forward to showing you all that as well. So yeah, I'm sorry I didn't keep you in the loop with the whole house move thing. It was crazy and emotional and I was still trying to figure out how I was actually gonna do it. If you are looking at moving, it's not as scary as it seems. I thought it was gonna be 
I thought it was gonna be harder actually on the children than it was. So I've moved Naya and Luca's school and they're a lot more happier in a smaller setting. So Naya is showing signs of being incredibly sensory and probably on the spectrum, but I'll do a whole other video on her again because girls on autism present a little bit differently. But uh, very sensitive bunnies and a smaller school has suited them both down to the ground. Dylan is still in the same school. When I was looking at a house, I had a 20 minute radius around where her school was because he is super happy. He, he is in a, a specialist autism setting secondary school. And yeah, he's doing really well there, which is really important. So I didn't want to change too much for him. And the other two have settled in so well, so I couldn't really be happier on that front. But yeah, I'm looking forward to showing you around the new house very soon and the garden and catching up on what we've been up to. Um, we did go on holiday last Last October we went on holiday for Andrew's dad's 80th, which was super fun. So I'm just gonna add a few clips in of the past couple of months, just so you can see how much the children have grown. McDonald's. Is McDonald's where you get um, chicken nuggets from? Yeah. Well, that's nice. What is it that you put with mint and I make for the boys? Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Oh, I love spaghetti, it's my favourite. Do you like spaghetti? Spaghetti. And the McDonald's? I love McDonald's. Naya, when you're older, I'm going to show you how cute you are. Please never, never change. Did he come? Are you sure? And Dylan is going to be 13 soon, so it's just like, oh my gosh. So I am going to be doing a video on the teenage years, what we've learned, what we're going through at the moment, the anxieties that keep creeping in, um, all that kind of thing. So yeah, quick recap what we're up to and look forward to seeing you next week, guys. Take care. Bye.